Hey everybody, how are you today? I'm doing good. Uh, I was gonna say good morning, but I thought about it. It's like, it's not always morning. Well, it's never morning when I upload the videos. So when you watch this video, I'm, yeah, I'm still fighting with my bangs. So when you watch this video, um, it's never morning. And so I'm always saying good morning and it's not morning where you are, um, but it's morning here. I am the only one that is awake, except for E-N-D-E-R. Yeah. He's actually laying there. Whining. I feel like he whines all the time now. Like he didn't, he used to whine before, but not constantly. Now he just constantly whines and I really don't know why. I don't know if he's just in pain, but then it doesn't seem like it. He just whines. It's so annoying. Anyway, mm. Mm. he's gonna bark at the trash. Mm. It's the trash guy's Ender. Ender. He's gonna bark, and then he's gonna make Charlie bark, and then Charlie's barking. But he doesn't even know why he's barking. He's just barking because Ender's barking because he can't see out the window. Ender. No. Ender, it's the trash, guys. You need to stop. You're gonna wake everybody in the house up for no reason at all. I'm gonna put you to bed. I'll put you to bed. He doesn't like going to bed. He's like a little kid. Although he went to bed last night early. Uh, he usually goes to bed when Jason goes to bed, but he went to bed when I went to bed, which is about three hours before Jason goes to bed. Anyway. So getting back to Tales from the Loop, I was, I've, been ta I've talked about how I really liked the, the series. It was really, really good. If you're, if you're an adult and you're seeing this um, and you want to check out Tales from the Loop, go right on ahead. Um, the reason why I say adult is because um, there's a couple of episodes that are, mm, but one particular episode, episode three, uh, for those of you in the back, um, episode three is very inappropriate and you do not want to show this episode to a child. Kids, like the boys age 15, 16 years old, it's, it, it wouldn't be the end of the world, but I know it would make them uncomfortable. So I would not, I, would, I know my kids, you know. Some kids could watch it and be like, you know, whatever. Um, it would make mine, I mean, it made Jason and I uncomfortable, you know, um, but anyway, so I'm like, I can't be the only person who felt this way about episode three, and I'm reading about it, and, like, some people are like, most episodes are kid-friendly, skip up episode three, if your child is under 17, um, and there's no violence or language, um, someone was like so upset by episode three. I guess they were watching it with their eight and ten year old. I'd be upset too. Um, ooh, somebody said it was boring. Not boring at all. It's actually really good. But yeah. Anyway. Yeah, they said that it was inappropriate for television and should have saved it for an R movie. Agreed. So disappointing with this show. Mm. So, and I feel like, and I put that in, in, in my comments below, that, you know, the series is great. It's like, um, it's a sci-fi. And weird things happen. Like, really strange things. And so, uh, it's very clever. And they could have gone a different direction with episode three. The premise of it was really cool. Like they were able to do something that was like, whoa. Everyone would love to do what, what they were able to do. Not what they ended up doing though. Although some people would really like to do that too. So it depends, um, but not an eight year old. So anyway, what they were able to do was really cool. They could have done so much more with that episode and gone a completely different direction with it than what they did. Um, but yeah, I don't want to get too far into it. Um, if you're an adult, you know, go right on ahead. Go watch episode three. <laughs> Someone said episode six too. I don't remember episode six. I'll have to take a look at that one. 
I don't remember anything inappropriate in episode six, but then I don't really remember. Hmm. I don't know. I'll have to check that out. Anyway, that's my rant for this morning while I'm drinking my tea. On a more serious note, um, if you've watched our channel, you know that the twins have older siblings that live in, um, up in up north, Massachusetts, New Hampshire. Um, and so, and they, most of them have been on the vlogs. But Jillian, one in particular, is one that we're really close to, and she comes down and visits with Cadigan and Finley and Maddie, her three kids. Um, David has been down here once, but he hasn't. He's usually busy when Jill comes down. He does a lot of theater work, and he does production, and he also stars in a lot of plays and stuff. And he does stages. He's brilliant at what he does. Really brilliant. But anyway, I'm obviously not doing that now. But anyway, Jillian was supposed to go for a procedure this week. And protocol right now is before you go for any procedure that involves, you know, like a medical procedure, um, you have to have a COVID test. And she got one and it came back positive. Now the interesting thing about that is she didn't, she didn't know she had it. Um, she was pretty asymptomatic although a little while back because um, this can stay in your system for quite a while a little while back she had he she wasn't feeling great she um, thought she'd had a cold uh, she had lost her sense of smell and taste which back when this happened she it, we didn't really know a whole lot about this yet and then she got better like nothing, nothing came of it. Like she didn't get super ill and ended up, you know, very, very sick. And none of the kids, you know, some the kids got a little sick, but not really. So it was very interesting. Um, and then, you know, weeks went by and nothing became of it. So she didn't think anything of going in for a test. So when it came back positive, um, she was just kind of like, huh, that's weird. And so, it really makes you wonder, because she's the first person that I personally know that has it, but it really makes you wonder how many people are walking around out there with this and have no idea. And that's the scary part about it. Yeah, she didn't get, yeah, she didn't get sick and you know, she, she, she didn't get really, really ill, but that's not to say that she couldn't have passed it on to somebody else who did get ill, do you know what I mean? Without, without knowing that she had it, she went to places like grocery stores, Walmart, Home Depot. They just moved from one city to another. They bought a house. So they were in and out of places. They went to U-Haul, um, just a number of places, places to eat, you know, to get food and stuff. Um, and so, yeah, so, when you think about how she tested positive, and had no idea that she had it. This goes to show you that there are people, so many people out there that are walking around had this and they don't know it. And who are they passing it on to? You know, is it gonna be you? That's, you know, you don't know. You just don't know. Um, it really, it really was eye-opening because I was like, wow, like we never would have, you know, we went, I can't say that we were shocked or surprised when it came back positive, but we're definitely, it made us go, hmm, that's really, really weird because, and, it, and again, they assume because she's positive that there's a good chance that David and the kids could all test positive or definitely um, might have at one time. Don't know, I think they have to get an antibody test. But yeah, so you have a family of five who, um, you know, one tested positive. They didn't test the others because you just assume that because it's so contagious that they each have had it at some point. Um, 
don't know for sure. It's not 100%, but they're just assuming it and treating it like they do, and so everybody is, is quarantined. Not, you know, self-isolating. They are quarantined to their house. Like they are not allowed to leave their house until next month. Um, but yeah, I was just like, wow. Think about how many people are walking around out there. It could be the person doing your groceries if you're doing Instacart. It could be the person checking you out at the grocery store at Walmart. It could be the person who's delivering your food if you order takeout. It could be the person standing next to you, you know, at, at in the grocery store in line, or the person walking in front of you as you're grocery shopping. Could be anybody. Anybody could have this and not know it. That's really, really crazy. Um, and I know people are like, we gotta open this country back up. We gotta open this country back up. Do we though? <laughs> like seriously, I'm good staying home. I'm good staying home. Yep. Um, I don't wanna be next to the person who has it and doesn't know. And like Joe said, if she had known, she never would have gone out. She would have been so much more careful than she was. Um, because she doesn't want to get anybody sick. Like, what if she, you know, gave it to somebody who was, you know, very, very, who ended up getting very, very ill? She never forgave herself, you know? Hmm. A really, really a lot to think about. But anyway, um... And then when she said something, she posted something on Facebook about it. And then you get the people like, oh, it was probably a false positive. Yeah, probably. No, 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 no. You can't just, you can't take a test, get back a positive result and be like, oh, hogwash. It's fake. It's, it, it's not really, it's not really positive. No, it is positive. And you have to treat yourself as you tested positive, whether you believe it or not. And that really, really made me angry when people like, oh no, don't worry about it. It's, it, especially when you don't have any symptoms. Yeah, it's probably false, false positive. No, you, you don't do that, okay? They tested her for a reason. The test came back positive. End of story, okay? She cannot think in her mind, oh, well, everyone's telling me that it's, it, you know, the test was wrong, so I'm just gonna go to the grocery store. No, 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 no. That's not how any of this works, people. Not to mention, from what I've heard, is you're more likely to get a test negative, false negative, not a false positive. They're either gonna find the virus in your, um, whatever they do in your nose, they're either gonna find it in there or they're not, okay? Um, so it doesn't just appear on their test. I don't know, it just really made me mad when I was reading through the comments after she said that after she announced to people, because she wanted people to know, like, hey, listen, I have it, and I don't have any symptoms, so be careful out there, you know? And then to have people come back and be like, oh, it's probably just, nah, nah, you don't really have it. It's, test was wrong, test was wrong. If she had said, oh, I took a test, and it came back negative, everyone would have been like, oh, good. Not, nah, you know, oh, it's wrong, you must have it. No, no, no. So anyway, I went off on a little bit of a rant um, on Facebook saying, look, you know, that's not helpful to just, you know, assume that because it came back positive that it's, it's wrong. That's stupid. It's like really stupid. Um, yeah, it really, really irritated me. She has to, you know, she has to be careful. She has to take protocol and the whole family does. Um, you know, this isn't a joke. This is not a joke. And I know people want to get out and they want to go back to their lives. I do too. But I don't want to risk myself. And she doesn't want to risk hurting people. Like, she has it. And she doesn't want to go out there and give it to people. <clears throat> and so all those people who want to get back out there and go to restaurants and get their hair done and everything. Can you safely say you don't have it? Because Jill thought she could. And she, she can't. So something to think about, something really to think about. Um, hopefully you guys got past this and didn't turn me off yet. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna go refill my, my tea. I drink half of it and then I refill it so it's nice and hot again. And um, go through and 
do what I gotta do. Hopefully the twins get up pretty soon. It's just about nine o'clock, so yeah. But I'll talk to you guys in a bit. So I have to show you guys something really funny. Ender, stop. Ender, stop. I don't want him coming because he's gonna scare them. So you know how I like to play Animal Crossing. I have my own Animal Crossing right outside here. Hopefully they didn't go anywhere. I'll show you. So if you look, I have a ton of squirrels. Right now there's what, one, two, three, four? Is there just four right now? Sorry. Mm, and you can see my cardinals back there. See the cardinal? Barely, oh, there he is, yeah. Yeah, check out all the squirrels. That is crazy. Absolutely crazy. The moss wants to go out. As soon as I open the door though, they usually run. Yeah, they all run. Those are bigger than you, Moss. I don't think you should be trying to chase them. But yeah, I have like a whole, a whole family of squirrels. It's chilly out today. <laughs> you can see all the leaves coming down. They're running around in those trees. It's chilly out today. I've been liking warm weather and now it's not that warm. Yeah, it's a little chilly. I, I, prefer, I prefer it like in the 80s. I know some people think that's too warm, but not I. Mm. I'm eating a vitamin D gummy. I'm taking vitamin D um, every day. I was supposed to start taking it like back. I had a physical a while ago and she was like, yeah, you need to take a D3. But it, um, you, I don't know if you can hear it, but the birds are chirping because moss is out there. That's their warning. Whenever moss is around, they chirp. Oh, she's chasing something. Oh, she's chasing a squirrel. She just flew across the yard chasing a squirrel. Where's she going to chase a squirrel, though? Squirrels are huge. Moss. She's crazy. Those squirrels are bigger than you are. Oh, and and is over there doing his his duty. Anyway, yeah, so I have a, a whole family of squirrels down here. They're just picking up off the seeds and stuff. I have some squirrel food that I throw out there too. Um, it's got like corn pieces and seeds and nuts and stuff, but yeah, she was just chasing a squirrel. She's crazy. You're crazy. Like, what is she going to do with a squirrel once she gets it? It's going to, like, attack her. I don't know. She's nuts, I tell you. Absolutely nuts. My flowers are looking really good. Yeah, I actually have goosebumps. Look. I'm cold. It's not cold. It's, like, in the 60s. Oh, no. Oh, guys. Oh my God. It's a dead bunny. Moss. Oh, Moss, are you serious? You killed a bunny? Moss. Moss, seriously? I'll just show you briefly, but she killed a rabbit. I'm so mad at you. Why? Oh my god. What am I supposed to do now? Oh, Moss, you're so mean. Moss, I can't believe you killed a bunny. And it's not a tiny one either. It's a good size. Look. That's a big bunny. Oh, I'm so upset right now. Oh my gosh. I'm truly upset. Like, that's a bunny. <sighs> what am I supposed to do with it? I'm gonna have Jason take care of it. But, oh my God, it's not even a baby. It's like, it's huge. It's almost as big as Charlie. Does that mean she would attack and kill Charlie? 
What the heck? Boss. I'm so mad at you right now. I know it's her instinct. I know. I'm not going to like beat her up or anything, but my heart is just broken right now. I'm so sad. Mm -hmm. oh, I'm so upset. Like, why would she do that? I know it's your instinct. I know cats are hunters and that's what they do. I don't care if she brings me home like a little mouse or something, but this is like a full-size bunny. It's it's a baby still, but it's still, I mean, it was pretty big. It's not that much smaller than she is. That just really upsets me. I'm gonna have Jason take care of it. I can't touch dead things. No. But, oh my gosh, I'm so sad. And I'm sorry if showing you the body upset anybody. Um, but yeah, I guess. that's my reality though. Like, I just look down and I see a dead bunny. It's so upsetting. I always have to check out here too because she brings me things home. Yeah. Uh, my, my aunt had a cat that used to go after birds. Um, she doesn't really do birds. She likes ground animals. Mice, lizards, she loves getting lizards. Mice, lizards, voles, and bunnies. So mad. <sighs> Good morning. Well, hey, how are you? Is it even morning still? Oh, it is. Um, oh, so come here. Just come here. Put on some slippers or shoes, whatever you want to do. Jake, come here. Hey, the sun came out. I'm so happy. Cause what is that wash machine that tells me like 50,000 times? There we go. Get some light on. Oh, outside for a second. Yeah. Do, ba, do, ba, do. No, come on. Come through here. Ba, ba, do, ba, do, ba. This looks actually looks really good. Um, cleaned it out. There's your bike. You guys should go for a bike ride. You just want to take the barrel with me? Look. That scared me. Okay. What is that? That's that cool. is a baby rabbit. Guess who got a hold of it? I don't think so. <laughs> well, I like your slippers, dude. I don't know what to do with it. Um, Look how big that thing is. How did Moss get there? I don't know. She went after a squirrel earlier. Like, she booted across the yard and chased after a squirrel. Squirrels are bigger than she is. Like, she's tiny. But yeah, she, um, she myrtleized it. And now I don't know what to do with it, but yeah, we do gotta go get the barrels. Is that all you want to do? Yeah. Oh, okay. I mean, you guys can go skateboarding or take a bike ride or something. You're gonna run away. You're gonna run away? Yeah. All right, bye. Bye forever. Okay. Nice knowing ya. Yeah, they're gonna run away. Oh, speaking of the cat, there she is. Moss, I hope you're happy with yourself. I'm back. You're back? Too many bugs. Okay. Moss, we saw what you did. Look at her, she's hiding. Oh, she's hiding from the barrels. We're not very happy with you. What are we supposed to do with it? Moss. You tell her. Look at, let's see what she's doing. Oh, look at, she walks right by it like, I don't know what that is. It wasn't me. 
I mean, it might not have been her, but it was her. Yeah, probably. I don't know what this monstrosity is supposed to be all about, but it needs to go. <gasps> Ender, no. Ender, no. Ender, no. No, 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 no. <laughs> no, no, no. God. That's all we need is for him to, like, scarf yeah. that thing down. <laughs> God, that would be awful. He ate something dead before, and I tried to get it from him, and he immediately, as soon as I said something, as soon as I told, told him it. no, he swallowed it. I think it was a dead bird, but it was something dead. And you could, oh, my God, he was he was chewing it, and it was crunching. I was like, <laughs> it was so gross. Hi, she's acting like nothing happened. Oh, she's proud of herself, too. Moss, moss, moss. What are we gonna do with you? Hmm? Ender, get out of there. He's trying to eat the squirrel food. Hi. Hi. I just want sorry. Such a lot of stupid game. You're I gonna do. say Sorry. Sorry. That's what my mom used to do. We used to play sorry as a as a family. And my mother would just be like, sorry. And it would just go great on my nerves. I wanted to bop her upside the head, but I didn't. I was a good sport about it. So anyway, um, so what happened at your school? It was down. Their website was down. We did get it to work eventually, but... Um, these guys wanted to play a game, and they've been working so hard, like nonstop. They've done a really, really good job. So, are you guys gonna play again? Yeah. yeah. Rematch. Hopefully, I'll win this time. Rematch. Was this last mine to do this? And it's no. all like, it's all like, uh, 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 and then this is really unsatisfying, right? But then, no, oh, is this is unsatisfying as well? Like when it goes like, like. Uh, <gasps> Oh, that's really satisfying. I'm so sorry, guys. Okay, so I'm going to fix it all up, though. That's nice looking, right? Okay. And then... I didn't chuckle up. Oh, no. Did he chuckle up? So we're going to play some more sorry. Really? <laughs> <laughs> it's your daily mustache check. Okay, here we go. John goes with first. So. Yeah, it's not fair. Or a winner goes first if you've already played a game. That's how we are, so I have to do it. Too. Okay, yeah, I guess I'll go okay. first. Forward one. <laughs> oh, there's fine. no dice? No, mm -hmm. there's not. It's just... Huh. Oh, sorry. Oh, hey, you! <gasps> oh, I tried. I'm so sorry. 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 I hate this game. <laughs> I like that one where it has the popper in the middle. Oh, forward one! What's it called? What? Popper in the middle? <gasps> trouble. Oh, oh yeah, trouble. trouble. You gotta go. Yeah, yeah I yeah, like yeah. that game. I like that. That's fine. Yes, yeah. You guys play Yahtzee ever? Yahtzee's fun. Yah Yahtzee's a good math game. I don't. Yeah, I feel like last time we played it, we weren't. It was kind of just too long ago. I don't know. Uh, we haven't played in a long time. We should get a Yahtzee I feel like it would set. be more fun now. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I think it would be fun because you're older now. Yeah. So, yeah. I love Yahtzee. I can remember as a kid, my mom and her sisters would all play Yahtzee together, and they would yell, That's Yahtzee! Oh, yeah. You can imagine Meme and Lillian <laughs> and Aunt Mary yelling, Yahtzee! Yeah. It was so annoying, but it's how I grew up. We grew up playing games, and we played a lot of games uh, when I was a kid. Because obviously we didn't have, like, Netflix and YouTube and video games. Mm -hmm. We had games, like real yeah. games, so. All right, I'll let you guys. I'll let you guys to uh, Jaden's win. Okay. 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 Hey, Jason. Mm -hmm. So we were out and about. So Jason is actually going for a COVID antibody test um, because there was a possibility that he was uh, exposed to COVID nineteen, and um, just wants to uh, make sure. I'm not sick or anything, so they didn't want to give the actual test. Just want to see that if maybe I had it and got over it. Yeah, so so Jason's the only one getting it. If his comes back positive that he does have the antibodies, then the twins and I will probably get 
checked too because then it means that he had it at some point and if he had it there's a good chance that we had it as well so we'll the, see the only downside to this test is if i do have it right now and i'm just not symptomatic this test will come back false and i right. could still have it so right. i wish they would let me do both tests if you would have had those. symptoms if you would have said that you had symptoms I gotta cough yeah now. well you should have told them that <laughs> i didn't have it until after i talked to them though <laughs> Anyway, so I'm interested to see how this turns out. Yeah, I'm trying to get my mask. He's got his mask. He's got a big old noggin, so mm -hmm. he has a hard time. There you go. Since I'm actually going in, like we have this one for just like going out normally, but I wanted to put on the like real one for going inside to a medical facility where there probably are people that do have it here. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised. You just never know. Mm -hmm. You never know. Yeah. So. So I think I'm good. Yeah. I, I wouldn't know. go in too early because... Well, I have to put myself in the system and register. And okay. I'm staying in the yeah, car. I'm not yeah. going in. Me and Charlie are staying right here. Right, Charlie? I'm yep. In. You say, hey, this is not Starbucks. <laughs> Where's my Starbucks? Be back in a little bit. Wish okay. Luck. Good luck. If I don't have it now, I might have it in a few minutes. <laughs> <laughs> that would suck. <laughs> Hungry? Yeah. <laughs> so we got the boys. You hungry? Yeah, I'm hungry. Yeah. I'm very hungry. We got the boys their favorite Chinese food. So what we do is we take a plate and then we put the food in the plate and then we take it out of the original package, put it on the plate, and then microwave it, right? Yep. Alright. You gotta dig in? Okay. So go ahead and put your, you can just put your chicken on there. Okay, wait, is this microwave yet? No, no. not microwave, so yeah, put it on the plate. Too. Yeah. And you can microwave half and half. Wait, I don't, I don't want to grab it. Why not? It's fine. Okay. Your hands are clean. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay. What's the matter, bud? You okay? Yeah, okay. Okay. Do I get some rice now? Yeah, get a spoon. The uh, So I don't understand. I don't understand this part of the country where the rice is orange. I just don't really get it. Oh, and we also got them some mozzarella sticks. Some yeah. reason the Chinese place is mozzarella sticks, but they're good. I, yeah, I don't know why. Um, go there from here and here. Just get it from them there. Okay. Use that first. Okay. How yeah. do I get it? Now you're gonna have to examine it. The packaging is. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Dude, what do you got? Good. I'm really loving this long hair back. Check this out. Like I'm showing the camera. Look at this. Look how long. I don't like it. Oh, I love it. I think. I don't know. I just think it looks really good on you. I really like it. Um, so, yeah, I really do like it. I think you wear long hair really well. Um, yeah. What do you guys think in the comments? In the comments down here, let us know. Do you like his hair? This new longer length? Well, not new. It's old. returned. Yeah, it's old. So... I don't know if, if you guys have never seen our channel, our old channel, when we first started filming, their hair was a little bit shorter than that, but then it just grew and grew and grew. And by the time we came here, their hair was literally like down to here. They had, well, maybe probably like right here. They had super long hair. And then when, just before you turned 12, I think just before their 12th birthday, we, no, it was after 12. Because I remember, I remember um, we went to see a concert, Rick Springfield, and you still have really oh, yeah, long I hair. And that was like at my birthday in August. So it must have been right after August. So right after you turned 12 was when we cut your hair. And you've had it short ever since. But I like the long. I think it looks good. But, I mean, you're entitled to wear your hair however you want to. So... We will get your hair cut as soon as we feel like it's safe to do so. Yeah. But, but I like it. I really like it. 
I think it looks really good on you. You'll wear your hair really. I said to Charlie, he's over there sneezing. So what's going on? Tell me what's going on. What's happening? Yeah, nothing really. I don't know. What was today? Tuesday? Yeah. It was normal Tuesday. What happened with school? Well, it wasn't working for a while, but then it started working. And but then we end up not doing school. Yeah, take a day off, right? Yeah, it's like a mental health day or something. Yeah, yeah. It's really weird. Your hair—it looks like it's crimped here, but it's just where the lighting is hitting it. But yeah, and it's different colors too. Like this is super light. I wonder if it's from like going in the sun. If your hair is getting like sun bleached or something, I don't know. Where is everybody else? Upstairs. Oh. All right. They don't want to. All right. Well, I will put out a message and let them know that we're doing our end date. Okay. That's the best. So Jay, how are you like? So I was eating. How are you like in your long hair? I need to cut your bangs, but Jesse says he doesn't like the long hair. I think the long hair looks really good. This is so long in the back. Is yours that long in the back? Turn around. Let me see the back. Can you turn around so I can see the back, please? He always does this. Whenever you ask him to do something, yep. he always does the opposite. His is a little shorter because he had an actual haircut. And you say the, something like, can you stop doing that? He always has to do it at yeah. least one more time. Yeah. <laughs> Jaden, turn around so I can see the back, please. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Please. Just stand next to him. You can measure it together. Yeah, it is definitely shorter. But yeah, or at least trying to not since he wouldn't start. Yeah, it's a lot Oh, longer. yeah, a lot longer. Yeah. It's, uh, remember, because he had a haircut. That's in right. Place, so. Well, him and I both got a yeah, haircut yeah, at the yeah. same time. Yeah. yeah. And then when you were trimming, you only trimmed the front, right? Yeah, I, I don't dare touch the back or sides. I just trim the front just to get it out of his face. I'm going to do his, I think, tomorrow well, after we, he takes a shower. When we were driving around, uh, there was people in all the hair salons, so uh, we just bring them in. <laughs> I was shocked at how many people were coming in and out of that medical building without masks. Like, it was, a medi that, yeah. it was a medical building, and I sat in the car because you went in to get the test. I sat in the car, and I saw, like, a dozen people coming in and out of there without wearing a mask and it's like why yeah. why why are you risking it yeah. is it really worth your life it's not people are still dying from this it hasn't gone away people a, just got their fingers in their ears and going la 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 i'm not hearing it anymore as of today the hundred thousand person in the u.s died from it also a hundred thousand people that's like the population of a small city mm. like that is i mean think about a football stadium Think about 100,000 people in a football stadium. Do they even fit 100,000 people in a football stadium? <laughs> okay, Google. How many people fit in a football stadium? According to Wikipedia, in their normal configurations, all of the league's 30 stadiums have a seating capacity of at least 60,000 spectators. Of those, a majority have fewer than okay. 30,000 seats, while eight have between so basically, and and five can seat 80,000 or more. So basically, the amount, the amount of people that have died from this could have all fit into a football stadium. Hey, Google, how many people fit into Gillette Stadium? In very specific. Gillette Stadium has yeah. a capacity of 65,800. Almost so, double Gillette. Okay, so you take two football stadiums and kill every single one of those people. They all die. Yep. That, that's what this has done. And that's just in the United States. That's insane. Absolutely insane. And, I mean, if you are watching this video and you're still like, oh, whatever, I don't care, just click off this video and just go somewhere away from me because I don't want to see your face. Because that's how mad I get when people are just like, oh, we just want our wives back. I don't care. I'm not worried about getting it. It's the most selfish, insane thing I ever heard. And if you're watching this video and that's how you feel, go away. I don't want to see you. <laughs> Can't help it. That's how I feel. Um, you know, they're not worth my time or day. Um, anyway, I like how you guys are both wearing Disney shirts. Big me. Make sure you use your imagination every single day. Okay. What? I don't know. You're crazy. And he's got his steamboat. His steamboat, Willie. He likes that one. We don't really have Jaden today. Jaden is in his own little world. <laughs> yeah.
He's drawing something. He's drawing a picture for the vlog, I think. Uh-oh. It's going to be like a... Oh, I thought they were wrong. Oh, he's writing a message for the vlog. Subscribe. Hi, Andrew. Good Hey, has anybody seen the cat? Is she in or out? Um, I'm not. I think she might be out. Last time here she was out, but... Uh, Something's yeah. going on up there. What is that? Is it someone building a nest? What's going on right there? Do you see it? Mm. Like, mm. you see it like right there? Uh -huh, uh -huh. Something's going on right there. Because what? That wasn't there the other day. Hmm. That's crazy. Yeah, Moss uh, last night I was getting ready for bed at like 3.30 <gasps> in the morning and she was at the door. I noticed she was in this morning, so, yeah. yeah. Did she wake you guys up when I was in? Oh, or you did, did that? Yeah, or did what, I wake you up? Uh, at like 3.30 a.m., something like that. Oh, uh, no, she woke me up later. 3.30 a.m. Mm. Yeah, no, I let her in, I filled up. She woke you up about now. 8, right? Yeah, it's, she likes so She has a nice, consistent, like, alarm clock. She is an alarm clock. <laughs> I she, have the like, same alarm clock alarm. built inside of me, too. Maybe because I get up and I let the dogs out. Oh, uh, maybe. Could be. So and so she's, cause she's, she sleeps right in front of that window. Right. So she watches us outside and she's probably like, Hey, gross. what? No. Charlie, Charlie's fine with it. No, you're fine. Uh, he only has feet anyway. So you're not <laughs> dirty. A jolly good boy, Charlie. All right. What are you, what are you <laughs> doing over there? I already know what he's writing. Now. It's really, the big markers aren't good. So it's like really like, it's like, like, so you can't, you can't like write. You're like really like, the right weird. Okay, what are you, okay, I don't know what's going on. Okay, I'm getting in. I guess I'm being. Oh my gosh, he's heavy now. <laughs> <laughs> he was not this heavy the last time I gave him. You used to run days. around the house with him like that. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Be careful of your head, Jesse. <laughs> <laughs> he, okay, and he sways. Like, if I go like this, he's oh like, gosh. he's taller. <laughs> don't let him knock you off balance and like I'm fall. <laughs> <laughs> he's still he's still pretty little Can for you, someone almost 16 years old the top? how about that top i don't think you guys okay. watching this video really yeah, understand oh my gosh. i can't get that. like i don't think you guys who are watching the video understand how tiny jesse really still is even though he's grown yeah he's still a little pin he's still a little peanut like he's still for, for going on 16 years old in, like, a matter of weeks, he's still really tiny. Like, I'll bet you the pants he's wearing is, like, a size 12 or something. So, yeah, he's not very he's big. He's really, like, we've had these yeah. for a long time. These like, okay, so stand next to Jason. I mean, he's definitely gotten bigger, but he's, he's, what are you he's, like, he's still little. Or I forget now. Well, yeah. Uh, he weighed himself the other day. What did you got? What do you got here? Is it like 95? Uh, very good. Hey, you did good. You did good on the end. Yeah, because I made sure it wasn't backwards. Two yeah. days ago, Jaden weighed himself at 95. <gasps> you're almost 100 pounds. I don't know what your last weight was. It's been too long for the show. 75? I, 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 like I, I think like 85. You're, you're like 85 or something. Well, you know what? You're you're eating plenty. Um, it's just you're just a little guy right now. You'll get there. You'll start filling out. Okay. You're still in the process of going through a growth spurt, and you're still in like you're still like in puberty. So I was about so okay. So I was always super skinny. Um, I didn't. I wasn't not skinny until I hit forty, mm. and I was not skinny anymore. <laughs> So, <laughs> so anyway, but you didn't have five kids. I don't know. And women, I don't know. I guess some women just, I don't know. <laughs> but anyway, I was always super, I was skinny like him until I was, until I hit 40. So, okay. Anyway, anyway, I think, I think we're almost done. Hey, buddy. Counting your pop tarts. No. Are you full? Did you did you get enough to eat? Did you need something else? You good? Yeah, I'm good. Okay. All right. So. Okay. Okay. So make sure you like the video. If you like the video, and 
subscribe if not the channel, and click the bell. So yeah, we'll see you later. Bye. Bye everybody. Bye bye.